I have just finished putting foil on my windows, except for a nine inch circle. And that means we're ready to do this, but I'm gonna close this door to make the room a little darker. And I'm gonna close this door to make the room a little darker. And we're already gonna see the results of why I put the hole on the window. If you look into this room, you will see that we actually have a camera. And there goes something, what was that? I don't know. Let's put a four and a half inch circle over the nine inch circle. And again, the only light that's coming into this room that we're in is from the circle that is put into the window. Everything else is covered up. So now it's gonna be a four and a half inch circle. There we go. I can see, so this little circle right here is the same size as the circle we just put over the window. In fact, everything that you see is made up of tiny four, four inch circles until now. Now we're gonna put a two, roughly two inch circle over the window. It's two inches and a quarter inch. And we're gonna put this over the circle and it, it gets darker. And if you were in the room, you would eventually, your eyes would adjust to this image and it would look decently bright. The camera can't do that. Okay, now we're gonna put a one inch circle over the hole in the window. So the only light coming into this room, except for that tiny crack you see in the bottom right hand corner, is coming in through this one inch circle in the window. And you can see there's light coming into the room because look, I'm projecting a shadow. And there's, there's my wife who is the dynamic contrast coordinator opening the door to make sure we have an interesting background. I am now taking off the circles from the window, one by one. And now we are removing all of them, leaving only the original nine inch circle on the window. This is how we started. And it's pretty bright by comparison. And we can still see stuff on the ceiling around us if we look. Let's see what happens if we open the hole. Let's take all the foil off that window section. So now there we go back to a full bright room. I'm gonna clean this up and then dissolve into some time-lapse footage. So this is several hours of the same cloudy day. Occasionally I'll be in the room doing stuff. This is called a camera obscura, which is many different kinds of language, but in one language, Latin, it means dark room, dark chamber. By putting a hole in one of the sides of the room, you can let light in and you've effectively created a camera. And that's what we're looking at right now. We're walking around inside a camera. So even your smartphone cameras, even the smartphone camera that I'm recording this time lapse with is doing a version of what you're seeing here with me in the room in this hole in the window. So I hope you had a good time exploring light with me.